All right, guys, uh, looking right now at the tool roll that I keep in my truck. So these are just some basic tools that I keep on me at all times when I'm out driving. Want to make sure that uh, I've got something to address most any situation that I'm at least going to be qualified to handle if it comes up with the truck. Um, one thing that is not pictured here is I do have a roll of duct tape at all times with me. It's right next to the tool roll in the truck. So make sure that you guys have duct tape in your vehicle at all times. Um, as far as what's in the roll, so first of all, this is a, just a Carhartt roll. I like this roll. It's heavy duty. Um, you know, when I was putting all this together and kind of looking to see what other guys do, some guys keep tool boxes. I like the idea of a roll. First of all, it is tucked away, so it's pretty darn secure, but if something happened, I don't want a heavy toolbox flying out and about. You know, I kind of run that risk with my medical kit, but everything else I like kind of secured <laughs> at all times. So, um, so that's where I, where I keep this is actually um, in the passenger seat behind the driver. Um, tucked under there, it's actually tucked behind my recovery bag. So if I unroll this, uh, you see what I have? Pretty basic stuff, really. Um, you know, when you, there are some guys who basically say you should keep like a set of sockets of various sizes. I don't want to be walking around with that much stuff. Not with that much weight, not with that much, frankly, all that much stuff that can be stolen. I want to keep just bare minimum essentials. So, um, got a good couple handful of zip ties. Man, am I a fan of zip ties. They are fantastic. They've kind of replaced bailing wire for most guys these days as something to tie things together. Um, I do have a pen flashlight that I keep in here. Um, I do have a headlamp that always lives in the glove box. I highly recommend you get a headlamp in your glove box, but just in case I'm out, I do have a flashlight if I need that option. So I have a multi-tool here. So this is the Milwaukee. This is a great tool. It's got a handful of different heads on it, various sizes. Um, it is a ratchet, so I don't know if I can do this one-handed, um, but there we go. So you can hear it. Uh, so it is a ratchet tool. It is absolutely fantastic. I do have a couple of number twos, just a flathead and a Phillips with me. Multi-tool, super fantastic, super awesome to always have one of those with you. Um, and then, Basically, a really nice set of pliers and um, a multi-wrench, and then some vice grips. I do have a bike pump. Uh, obviously, I keep my electric pump with me at all times, but worst comes to, like, think of the worst case scenario where you need air and you have absolutely no power. It'll take you, you know, a couple hours, but you can pump something up with this bike pump if you need to. And then lastly, in these pockets here, right now, I've just got some spare batteries. I might add some more things down the road, but one of these um, waterproof compartments has double A's, one has triple A's. So I'll always have some batteries with me in case I need them. But yeah, pretty basic tool roll. Again, I'm not a super mechanic. <laughs> Most of what I do, YouTube is teaching me how to do, but I want to make sure I'm never caught without some tools. And so far, I don't really see the need to have much more. Anything more than this is probably a luxury. It's like, this is the bare minimum that I need to get by. And that's kind of what I want to make sure I have with me at all times, just for that extra preparedness. So uh, that is my tool roll. Everything you see here, plus the duct tape. Don't forget about that. And appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully this is helpful for you. And I'll talk to you next time.